Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So here in this video, we will be discussing about cascading style sheets syntax. So syntax is what? It is nothing but a basic formula or basic structure of every programming language. So in every programming language, in every designing language, syntax plays an important role. So we are going to discuss syntax in detail. Also, in cascading style sheets lecture series this is our lecture number six and students if you forgot to watch previous five lectures based on css that is very very important you can check the description box i have already added the playlist link there so in this video first of all i will start with basic introductory part after that we'll move to the practical section so as you can see here, CSS rule set contains a selector. I have told you so many times in previous five lectures that in case of cascading style sheets, we, uh, we always use what? We always use selectors. And in case of HTML, we always use tags, right? So CSS rule set contains a selector and a declaration block. So you can see here, this is what? This is the selector. Here selector is nothing but it is the name of tag that we want to connect with the help of CSS code. Okay, so this is called here selector and the complete section in between the curly bracket is called declaration block. Under the declaration block we always add, uh, we always add properties of that particular selector. For example, if I write h1, hi, welcome to my channel and then h1 close, right? If I want to change its property, if I want to change its font size, if I want to give it uh, some different color, then we can use the declaration block. So, in case of HTML, this is called tag and if we want to connect this particular HTML statement with cascading style sheets, so what we need to do is we need to write the tag as it is that is called selector here and after selector, we will start and close the declaration. We will start and close the curly bracket that is called the declaration block section. Okay, under this uh, declaration block, we always give properties to the particular selector to the particular tags here. Okay, also under this declaration block, we have some different parts that is, this is its property, like color is the property and yellow is what? Yellow is its value. Similarly, font size is what? Font size is property. And 11 px, yani ki 11 pixel is nothing but it is the value of this particular property. Right? So, this is how we write cascading style sheet tags. Also, remember one more point here. Under the curly bracket, you need to write the particular property first. After that, separate it with colon. Then add the properties value. Then close it with semicolon. Semicolon is used here to separate different properties. With the help of semicolon, we always separate different properties. Right? So, I hope everything is clear for you. Now, let's move to the practical section. Before that, let me tell you one more thing. As we have discussed in previous lecture that uh, cascading style sheets, we have three different types. First is inline styling. Second is external styling and third is internal styling, right? So, basic type of uh, CSS is inline. So, in this video, we will start with inline cascading style sheets, right? So, we can apply CSS in a single element by using this inline cascading style sheet technique. The inline CSS is also a method to insert style sheet in HTML document. Okay, so we'll start with basic HTML structure. First, what we need to do here is just write basic HTML code. HTML head, then title. Title would be my first CSS file. This is my title and close the title tag. 
then close this head section after this start body tag then at the end close body tag and then close the html tag okay so this is what this is the basic html structure that we have discussed so many times in previous lecture series now what you can do is let's say write h1 hi sorry my name is abcd now close h1 next point i can write here is h3 hi I love HTML and CSS. Then close the H3 heading. Now again, but you can write H1. Subscribe all about CSIT. okay and close this h1 tag so i have written three html tags h1 h3 and again h1 now let's just save this save this file as it is okay so what you can do here is under the css folder inline dot html save okay now go to the folder inline.html and run your program so you can see this statement is in heading 1 this is in heading 2 and this is in uh, again in heading 1 now this is the time to add cascading style sheet properties to this particular page so as i have told you I am going to use inline cascading style properties. So, what you can write here is you can write it as h1 under this h1 tag. Okay. Before closing this particular tag, you need to write here style is equals to in, in between the inverted commas color colon let's say red. Then we separate it with semicolon save and refresh refresh so you can see the difference here okay this is how you can create inline html inline css okay now let's just use this style is equals to under the inverted commas color colon blue then semicolon or let's say font dash size colon every time remember one point to add it as pixels in the format of pixels semicolon save and refresh so you can see we have used h3 here okay let me just copy this statement again so that you can see the difference easily copy and paste this is what this is h3 this is what h3 save and refresh so as you can see this is basically the actual font size of heading 3 tag but we have used cascading style sheet properties here that color is blue color is blue you can see and font size is 40 px yani ki font size is 40 pixels so this is how inline style sheets actually work in case of html css okay now in another in the next h1 tag we can write style is equals to under the inverted comma section let's say font size colon 50 px semicolon save and refresh so this is how it actually works okay so i hope everything is clear for you if any doubt you can comment me so thanks for watching